the knives to have kickbacks so you can use them to fly. That'd be funny. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be really funny. Yeah, so I'm actually doing fairly well. Uh, part of it is because I've actually invested in power, so they do baseline double damage to begin with. Uh, so right now, each knife is doing just half maximum, plus the crit chance and whatnot. Oh, he's still alive. No spells shall be cast here. Yeah. Alright. Let's see, anything else? What do you have? All I want is the Ring of Midas. If I can get the Ring of Midas, then everything is glorious. It's just a matter of it's just a matter of time. It would be nice to get the uh, movement speed, because uh like the, the baseline penalty on, on Fatso being slow is actually like really fair. Because it is hard to dig yourself out of that hole. There we go. Okay. No mage business for you. Uh, I want to get two bullet splitters on a run. I don't even know what it would do, but it would be amazing if we could. Let's see. Do all of your shots hit if you're inside the enemy? Yes. I believe they do. Also feels like uh, food is dropping really commonly. I'd love to see the logic for food drops in this game. I did get all the money from Tunok, right? Or did I just totally ignore it? I don't know. Let's get the gold game buff because we need we desperately need it. <sighs> Let's see. Probably tomato soup and vegetable salsa soup for now. You can't have two of the same trinkets. Not yet, anyway. It might be a possibility. Okay, so we're at 254. Unfortunately, the uh, gold gain buffs don't scale the same way that uh, prices do. Ooh, Ring of Madness. Get out of here. Hello, Ring of Ma Madness. That is going to chunk my defense down a little bit, but my damage is up. Dang it. Leave me alone. Vile Temptress, I have nothing to do with you. It'd be funny if the, uh, <laughs> it'd be funny if, uh, oh man, I, wa I, I want this. It, it shouldn't happen, but it'd be hilarious if, uh, if you're playing Fatso, the succubus is just a flying, like, hamburger instead. Just, like, really ham it up a little bit. That would be enjoyable. Probably bad, but enjoyable anyway. See, so I should try all the ranged weapons that drop. I've tried a couple of them so far. I mean, most of them are fairly self-explanatory on what they're going to do. So we'll see. Okay, nothing here. I'll probably have to invest in the dash distance if I do this again. Character specific enemies is a good idea. That actually be kind of interesting if you could have uh, it's <laughs> every uh, every uh, enemy that the criminal silhouette has to come across is uh, is skin to look like a cop. Oh, that'd be funny. It's probably having the satiation value in the shop each time it's open, making it zero. Oh, really? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I am dirt poor. I could put some into defense. I could get more max health. Crit or go for the attack speed, because more attack speed would be would be really satisfying. Yeah, let's let's go sell some things. You, you really think the gold gain would be able to uh, offset some of this, but the answer is a very solid no. Yeah, let's just get rid of half this trash. More crit since it's cheap. Yeah, I, I, I should. I want the attack speed, but yeah, we'll get the more crit. It is, it is much, much less expensive. I love the movement speed, but why is movement speed so expensive? Spencer, I don't know. Do we get the defense? 
Defense is currently negative five, which kind of sucks. Uh, it's the combination of Ring of Madness and Red Pickaxe. Or I could just tough it out, because we've got evasion for days. I got evasion for days. Let's keep going. Defense is too pricey. Uh, defense is something you probably want to invest in early on in the run. Because uh, after a while, the price is not worth the benefit. Compared to the uh, the scaling effects of a lot of other ones. Oh, my damage is starting to get real good with this. This is why I've been investing in power. Because... The, uh, the red pickaxe has, like, such a massive penalty down, but its attack speed kind of makes up for it. But if you can offset the damage penalty, oh boy. Alright, uh, let's switch back to this. Matchlock. Pew. Alright, so we've got a matchlock shotgun. I don't know what this is going to do. Let's give it a go. Having that jetpack is a lot easier. Sup, Croc? Ring of Midas, please. Yes, there it is. Boink. Probably worth. Okay, so we're probably going to just ignore most of these. It seems like the food buffs are really good on this run for whatever reason. If I end up with 100% uh, evasion as usual, I'll just win the run because I would have won it anyway. That's scary. Admittedly, we're having a bunch of, like, bizarre crits, like, 8 damage. Which isn't so hot. Ah! Ultimately, the red pickaxe is just straight up better. But it was, a, it was worth a, uh, a look-see, even if uh, it's not going to be useful for me. Let's go back to this, at least for a little while. Uh, let's see. I do not have nearly as much money as I think it would. I could go for the crit. I want to save for the evasion. Let's see. Wonder, are you going to start a new farm or use the farm I have for Stardew Valley? Uh, we're going to be starting over. For those of you that don't know, Stardew Valley looks to be getting its multiplayer update next month. I thought it was just sometime in the spring. So I'm not entirely sure if next month is accurate. Uh, but I think it'll be probably Bird, Durf, and myself, and we'll probably just start over. Can't imagine Keith would be particularly interested in Shell Needs. Shell Needs Plot. To care about that sort of thing. She might be interested in one of the Rune Factory games. Or whatever the sci-fi one was. But most definitely not, uh... Most definitely not the current incarnation. Okay. Okay, you just stay there. Treasure chest had just stuff in it. Pretty not worth. I don't think we take falling damage in this game. I'll try Rune Factory, Tides of Destiny. I Is that one of the handheld ones? It sounds like one of the handheld ones. Unfortunately, Rune Factory games are particularly difficult for me to record generally. Okay, so let's just sell things because I need the money. I need the money bad. It's tempting to sell the rocket launcher, but I think we're going to hold on to it. Okay, it's for the Wii. Ah, okay. Well, it's a little bit uh, a little bit more doable. I'll think about it someday. Unfortunately, it's just as always time. I don't even have enough time to cover all the games that I want to cover from my like usual lineup. So anything and everything else is just like... Uh, let's get the power and let's get the defense. I was probably gonna, I probably should have saved the money. Should have, I'd like to save up for the attack speed, but I think I'd have to do an attack speed specific run. And for Fatso, you don't want to spec into attack speed. Okay, let's see how we do against this guy. Hello, Envy Rock. By the way, this run does not count for uh, leveling bonuses. I think Fatso needs just a little bit more changes to make him, um... Fatso needs a couple more changes. While we, uh, work out the kinks. Get back here. 
Yeah, I don't think I can destroy certain magic projectiles. Right, I do have a... I do have a jetpack. Should probably use the jetpack more. We'll see. Well, Envy Rock is now dead. My money. Oops. Worth it. Worth it. Dying. Worth it. Ah. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I actually don't get as much, uh... I don't actually get as much, uh... Money from that as I thought. Fatso change, seeing as you're the relay man. Now I don't have any any specific uh, changes to suggest right now. Uh, just waiting for maybe a bit of a rebalance. Because the food prices are crippling, but it still does end up with a fairly net positive for power. Like, Fatso is... Uh, he is very strong right now. And I'm, I'm personally fine with it, maybe. But I think, well, I don't know. I'll have to try some of the other characters uh, with some of the other changes that have been made. And part of it is also uh, one of the reasons why we're like stupid ridiculous is because we've more or less got the uh, the red pickaxe as it was meant to be as opposed to that lotus run that didn't quite, well, it didn't. They're carpet bombing. This is not acceptable. This is how you carpet bomb. Oh. I guess that's still alive. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. It is it is an interesting strategy, and I'd love to finely tune Fatso a little bit more uh, to make, you know, this kind of whole, whole thing work. Almost feels like a... Eh, I don't know. No. One other alternate uh, suggestion is instead of increasing the food prices, because that seems to be kind of crippling here, is actually just making it so that uh, Fatso just has, like, lower starting stats. So his, like, beginning is really rough. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. Save the red pick, go Lotus again. I just didn't like it that much. Uh, I could. Well, I don't know. I guess we could. The main problem is it's just really awkward. What I really want is a uh, King of Pickaxes. Uh, run with the dash changes. Or not the dash changes, with his changes mixed in. Let's see, no enemies have spawned, right? Okay, good. Because I really want to do like a purist dash run someday. We had a really good run with the super... It wasn't the super cheat run, that was just the all perk run. Interesting. Dashing while using the jetpack is, like, weirdly meaningless. It's also worth noting that your satiation buff might be more effective than it should be, meaning you might actually be getting more buffs than you otherwise would. Yeah, so, I mean, part of the point of, of Fatso is that he is maybe supposed to be able to get a little bit more food than most of the other characters. Like, I think, I think that's, that's reasonable, conceptually. Um, but one of the things I, I'm noticing is that the, uh, the food buffs have been really good this entire run. I don't know if it's an anomaly, or if, uh, the lower your satiation is, the, uh, the better the food buff is. Because that's another... That's, like, another consideration. It's probably unlikely. But maybe something? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. We've we've already yeah, we already we already found the restaurant on this this floor. Let me see. So what do we got? Food shop. So I've actually got a decent amount of money now. I'll get the crit. I'm gonna get the attack speed. 
It's pretty pricey, but it's probably worth. I guess I should get the evasion while we're here. Let's actually go see what I can sell. Because that's another consider uh, consideration. Because I probably have some things that I can just toss. We did get the speed reloader. Uh, not really that helpful. It's also really tempting to get rid of the rocket launcher, but I think I'm going to hold on to it for a little while longer. Okay, so we wanted... not max health. Did we? No, we don't want max max health. I'll just get the power bonus. I'm still a little bit on the slow side, but... I don't care. So, just me, or does the does Fatso give you a Soviet vibe? It kind of does. Originally, I thought he was supposed to be this, like, Russian dude, but no, he's just the original hero that you play as that has just grown ridiculously fat, which is really amusing, actually. Like, I can, uh, I can actually show it off. Uh, the differences between the two characters, I think they're actually pretty similar, visually. Interesting, I have a character that has a reduced satiety cap, but could buy two of each food. Oh, that'd be scary. I mean, that wouldn't even be scary. We know how that would go. That would just make it so that uh, you you get 100% evasion every run. Which is a little bit on the overpowered side. Okay. I wish you could actually just leave gold drops on the ground. Just come back for them later. With the uh, all the greed bonuses. But yeah, I think I think ultimately increasing the uh, price of food for Fatso and fixing the uh, store price having or whatever is probably the best way of doing doing things for Fatso. Because if food's pricier, you can't buy as many perks, and you're gonna have to maybe focus on gold gain and a couple other things that you wouldn't normally do so. We'll see. I'm probably gonna have to get gold gain more often, period, though. But that's worth. Uh, what is my attack speed at? 9.6. I'd like to get it up a little bit higher, it just really depends on prices. Hello! There she is. Okay, let's get the gold, gold drop. Uh, let's see, movement speed. Uh, it's pretty bad attack speed to begin with. Let's get the crit and save for the evasion. Because that's really good evasion. Okay, we might not we might not make it to 100 percent I think maybe I just had uh I had rose tinted glasses when it came to Uh, the values of my buffs. We'll see. I feel like it can increase food buffs because it would easy, easy to get stuff to 100, like evasion. Evasion is the only one that you'd really have to worry about. Uh, I do... Oh, shit. Uh, I don't have enough money anyway. We'll just kind of hope it shows up, and if it doesn't show up, then... Well, honestly, we'll get Minigun on another run anyway. Like I'd love to get the I'd love to get the minigun and do dumb dumb shit like that. Should probably have sold stuff while I went by. Oh, gold gain includes sell prices. I actually didn't realize that. Oh, that's really good. I didn't realize that at all. So what you want to do then is you actually want to hoard uh, food. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get the pea soup because we want the evasion buff. Let's go back here. Minigun has a hell of long reload time. Yeah, it does. But here's the reason why minigun. <sighs> this will be this will be fun. If only I could pair it with a torch. Ah, uh, if only that'd be ridiculous. Okay, so where's where's the door down? What floor are we on? Okay, so it's boss time.
I think you've created a flamethrower. Yes. This is probably going to do no damage. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, the, uh, the red pickaxe is better, but still. Wait, you can sell items for more than they cost? Oh, shoot. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so the red pick pickaxe turned out to be uh, more effective, surprising no one. Uh, but the minigun was really enjoy <laughs> really enjoyable for about a couple of seconds. You'd say it's on par. I think it was just a little bit slower, but I could be wrong. If I had that auto-reloader chick, I'd totally use the minigun some more. Oh, well. Melty, melty. Stupid creatures. Oh, I did kill that guy. Yeah, no, the uh, the red pickaxe is much stronger. The main the main reason why you want the minigun is range. The minigun is a thing of beauty, though. But it doesn't have anything on the on the red pickaxe. It's just hilarious to behold. Be great if there was a flamethrower in this game. I would uh I would use it. I would have fun. But yeah, the the red the red pickaxe is just is just peerless when it comes to uh, spitting damage. Because the minigun's base damage is bad. And is only affected by a percentage. The red pickaxe, on the other hand, actually has a really good base damage. Comparatively, 8 to 14 is really nice. Uh, it's just offset because it has a massive percentage reduction on damage. So, if you can get rid of that massive per percentage reduction on damage, and maybe even like offset it by another 50%, you become stupid. Red pickaxe would be amazing on the uh, criminal silhouette. Assuming you live long enough to to leverage it properly. Yeah, I did have the reload item earlier. Yeah, but I also just... I don't care. The red pickaxe is goofy. Uh, uh, let's see. So, I actually have some money here. So, let's, let's get gold gain. Evasion, attack speed. I could get crit, I could get defense, I could get power. Let's get crit. And probably call it close enough. Yeah, so we're we're not going to be close to 100%. But we'll, we should probably be able to kill a uh, sword guy, no problem. My defense isn't as good as I thought it was going to be, though. Oh, well. Okay, uh, so I'm not gonna... Well, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna sell anything on this floor. We're not gonna get the gold game buff on the next floor. Uh, but I've more or less already bought everything I want. Well, I guess in that case, I could just sell whatever I want here. Because if I'm not gonna get the gold game buff on the next floor, then there's no reason to be, uh, stingy about selling stuff. I was gonna wait. Anyway. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go back to... let's go back to Croc. We got a couple of things to do, for starters. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, sell some things. Oh geez, yeah, these are worth way more than listed value. That is great. Okay, so I can buy this Vihander, and then I should be able to sell it for more? Maybe. I'm gonna... I don't think I... I don't think that worked for me. Yeah, I, I don't think that... that works. Let's see, are we marking off the wins on this one? No. Uh, not... not for this run. This run is, uh... this run is too unbalanced to be even remotely close to fair. I'm not earning stat... stat points off of this... this run. Holy crap, that extra 10% uh, attack speed is nuts. I wish I had been able to pump more in over the course of this run. Well, I will try with a different character after this. Uh, see what attack speed does on... Well, we could do Criminal Silhouette with Evasion and the Red Pickaxe if I want to. 
Let's see, will I at least fight the Demon Lord? I'll see it. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go take a good long look at his face. And then we'll probably leave. Okay, so we don't care about reload speed, we don't care about movement speed, the max health... Don't care too much. Yeah, that'll be good enough, that way I can buy everything I need to buy on the next floor without having to worry about anything. Yes! Okay, uh, let's see. So yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get the gold game buff on this run. Because, yeah, if I actually focus attack speed, I bet we could do some really goofy things. Let's see, bullet split minigun with the uh, reloader run. I wish. Unfortunately, I can't carry that much with me after I die or win. That'd actually be a really cool thing to do if you could bring everything with you. Uh, it's not as fancy as I was hoping it would be, but that that's that's fine. Okay, so Ultimate Evasion, 77%. Not as strong as some of my other runs, but I also was not focused on it. I think I skipped at least two evasion buffs in favor of other other things. Most of which probably weren't worth it, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well. But yeah, this isn't even max power. Like I I didn't I really didn't put nearly as much money into power as I wanted to on this run. I wonder if you can farm Tunok for reduced satiation. You probably could, now that I'm thinking about it. Ooh. I will consider that. It's probably not worth it. In any kind of reasonable sense. But I could. What's up, Croc? Croc has nothing of, any, of value. If you get your gold gain up high enough, I can totally see... It, uh... I could totally see it doing the, uh, doing the thing where you can buy stuff from the shop and resell it for, like, massive amounts of value. What you could do is buy it early and then sell it later. Kind of treat it as an investing situation, but that would be... Uh, that takes some time. Actually, yeah, you could probably farm these guys for satiation now that I'm thinking about it. Pretty much any infinite spawning enemy you could farm for satiation uh, with the new changes. Okay, the food shouldn't go down to zero now. Yay! I'm not sure if I'm gonna... I, I don't think I'm gonna step away to get the... Well, no, I could, actually. If you want to, I can uh, step away and get the uh, the newly adjusted mod before we do any more rounds. Because it's going to take almost no time to actually download and install that. Luckily, modding for this game is real quick. It's just copy and paste. Anything else in here? No, it's, it's like a weirdly empty room. Alright. Okay, it's not done it, done yet. Well, I mean, worse comes to worse, changes, changes for next time. Yeah, the one thing, uh, the one problem with this, like, uh, desperately poor kind of run, you do not, uh, you do not get the tribute that you'd normally desire. Okay. So that's the last of what we can get. Let's see. Oh, hey, jetpack uh, resets in uh, res resets charge whenever you transition rooms. Actually, makes sense. Okay, so I've got thirty-one thousand. I can kind of buy whatever I want. Let's get the power. Let's get the defense. In the end, I couldn't get the re uh, reload speed, even if I wanted to. Well, twelve percent crit damage rate ain't terrible. And I'll eat some strawberry pie. Let's go fight it. Let's go fight the boss. See, 40% gold drop. It'd be nice, but we're not going to be fighting anything past this point, so it doesn't really matter. Hello.
probably the strongest I've ever been up against this guy. Melt for me. God damn. <laughs> oh, we gotta try this with the criminal silhouette. You know, I don't think it's the food that's making this run stupid. No, it is most definitely this pickaxe. We're gonna take it with us, and we're gonna just try some things. Wow. Right. There's nobody here, so now we just go up. Yeah, I can see why this would have probably been harder. Uh, without the evasion. Just trying to traverse this is awkward. Yeah, ultimately what made this run powerful was entirely just the red pickaxe and enough power buffs to dig it out of the hole and then some. We'll have to try this with the, uh... Go something else. Hello! Demon Lord! Caminella! Bah! Ow. <laughs> what? Woo, boy, I was, uh, maybe not expecting that. Well, let's grab the red pickaxe. Boy. Can I grab two? Wait, I can grab what? I can grab two now? Yes! 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 You can take two. Thank you, Cryo. That is really helpful. Also, Christ, that hurt. <laughs>